Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the Europa League semi final review. Yes, I'm wearing Roma. Yes, they have been eliminated. Hey, they won. Um, but yeah, it was more or less a decision uh, for Roma than against any of the two finalists, and also a little bit born out of necessity because of the two finalists, I'm only a total of three shirts. And yeah, I could have added here a few more Roma shirts again and but I decided yeah it's enough if I wear Roma I'm hiding probably another Roma her home shirt behind me so yeah that's how I went and I said although I really like and uh, this is really cool uh, if you think about it the clubs in the Champions League semi-final are very well matching with the Champions League color scheme the clubs in the Europa League semi-final this year and I add Roma here, a very well fitting with the Europa League uh, color, color, color scheme, I just said, I don't want to have it, so let's pull out a few teams that have been eliminated in the round of 16 and in the quarterfinals as well to kind of round it out a little bit more. Well, we have kind of two first <laughs> in some way. Um, we have Villarreal reaching their first ever European final. Uh, getting over the hump in a solid performance but we'll talk about that when I talk a bit about the game that's the game I watched um, and although Roma United had way more goals in both uh, games I actually never um, regretted choosing the VRL Arsenal matchup because uh, yes not necessarily the better uh, style but there was at least a little bit more suspense there Roma and I said they have, they did win after all over United in a game, uh, yeah, where many goals were scored. There was a short spur where you think, oh, maybe United could fall, fall apart, and Ed Edison Cavani, who, yeah, that guy is scoring goals for fun. Uh, pulled it uh, quick, quickly the race, and that Roma then still got the win. Uh, has to be said, this was um, at least you know, capping off the Europa League with another win and I think Roma has only lost one game and yeah that was a 6-2 and I'll talk about the circumstances last week. Let's get into the game. Arsenal via Real. Uh, it was so weird in that game because you knew Arsenal just needs one goal and they would go, go through. You look at the Arsenal squad and you're thinking there's something in there. They it's not inconceivable that they can do something and then you see the performance and all I could think is yes you can really really tell this is a mid table Premier League team with hardly any confidence against uh, yeah you have to say second in the top flight a second tier uh, Spanish team that is in the table ranked higher than Arsenal um, but you know roughly equal maybe the Spanish team having a slight advantage you could see that Villarreal they may not have the speed but they are very well organized they are doing uh, the stuff their way and it was seemed always that they are the more cohesive team Arsenal basically trying to rely on the brilliance of one or two players who are not all that brilliant anymore I probably have to add um, Arsenal definitely will rule that they twice hit the woodwork through Aubameyang, especially the second one late in the game. They had a good chance of Pepe uh, early in the second half. Um, and then I think one, uh, there, was, there, was, uh, there was another one where they really had a, 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 a good chance, but uh, the player just looked on the ball and not where to put it. So, you know, uh, stuff like that. But I always thought that Villarreal had that game more or less under control. They routinely played it home. They slowed down the game when it needed to be slowed down. Um, and goal did Arsenal. And Arsenal, there was not much urgency there. And it ended in a nil-nil. And uh, I think if in the second half... Uh, they played better where I think uh, the ball they intercept the ball and then it's three against one and uh, they just Villarreal plays just one or two passes too many there were a few situations where I thought Villarreal uh, is a little bit more direct it could have well ended in another Villarreal win and I think uh, overall fully deserved Villarreal go through uh, Arsenal many questions need to be asked 
many questions need, need, need to be asked. At this moment, Arsenal, uh, they might be financially still a uh, top six club in England. On the field, they are clearly not. And this is already for the second season in, in a row. Last season, they were saved by an FA Cup. This season, there's not much. And uh, I'm curious if there will ever be a rethink. Then, as I said, the other game, uh, Roma United, I mean, it was the game for the golden banana, more, more or less, because uh, I think everyone kind of had the feeling Roma will not score, uh, will not win by few, four clear goals, uh, you know, and make up the deficit. Uh, but, you know, they have been, they, have, they were at least trying here, 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 here and there, but especially the first half, I think uh, Cavani could have scored one or two. He scored one uh, with a really, really nice shot. Uh, in the second half, though, as I said, there was a period of like a uh, few minutes where Jaco gets the equalizer after Pedro wants to take a shot. Then uh, Cristante makes it 2-1 and then Jaco misses an absolute sitter. If that's 3-1, um, you don't know where this is going. However, I think at that point... Um, Solskjaer then kind of made kind of the change, take Pogba, bring Matic in, try to calm down the game and then Bruno Fernandes with a nice cross on Cavani's head uh, makes it 2-2 and at that point uh, the chase that was never really really on but was finally uh, done and dusted. Uh, but it has to be said that uh, Zalewski scores the winner for Roma and this to me is um, kind of a big deal because A, that made and Roma win more points if you would give still three three points for a game than Arsenal which doesn't matter at all but still it it's a nice uh, finish to a pretty good Europa League season for Roma and I'm quite happy I still think what they are going now with the coach I have not talked about the video that Mourinho is now come, 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 come in to replace Fonseca I think is short-sighted yes Fonseca maybe had this poster with Jaco and you know, maybe there's some trouble in, in the squad. But I think that under Fonseca, if he has a full squad and is given the backing, he has done an amazing job. And I'm thinking, yeah, if Fonseca is now available, I really would I really would like that. If Pioli is ever getting challenged at Milan, Fonseca is a, a coach that I actually would not mind having. We have now Villarreal, the home team in the final, thanks to the draw, there is no circle of power whatsoever in the Europa League. Uh, 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 otherwise, we would have probably Slavia Praha against Zagreb or um, Ajax, some, something like that. So that only applied to the Champions League. Um, you, of course, want to know what are the chances of winning that final. Here you go. United, 64%. Of course, United were going, 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 going to be favorites. Uh, huge favorites at that. Um, and I think it would really need a technical masterclass from Una em Emery to pull off the win against United. Uh, United is way more talented. They might be not as cohesive as maybe Villarreal is as a team, but as, as simply the class that is in the United squad should go over Villarreal. But, you know, we have seen upsets as well. Uh, but we're not like when uh, Sevilla played Liverpool in the Europa League final. Uh, at that point, it was really that Sevilla would be coming from Spain. You would always favor a favor, favor Spanish team. I think we have now squarely turned the tables that we can say a Premier League team is always favored over any other uh, team at this moment in time. And so for that reason, even... Though I think that Emery is a better coach than Solskjaer, just the quality that Manchester United has in their squad, uh, I would favor United over Villarreal at any time. And let's see, we may get that both Manchester teams will celebrate European trophies this year, which would be uh, not unique. Milan has done it in '94, but it would be something uh, special. And. Last thing, I am happy that we have at least one European final with, uh, you know, a one non-English team in, in there. I think it gives it a, a slight, a slightly better uh, track. Uh, you know, it, it has a slightly better taste in there. And also has to be said, VRL has not lost a Europa League game so far. So maybe 
It has a little bit nil nil written all over it as well because whenever those two teams met, I think it was four games they played and they have not scored a goal yet. So that will be. But I, I still think that United will probably win in regulation, maybe 2 0 or something like that. Any case, let me know your thoughts uh, about that final, about the games yesterday. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye